What is going on guys? What is going on 27 squad? Welcome back into another video. Currently right now I'm waiting for the rain to uh, go over so I could continue to continue on my day delivering as I do every day. But uh, yeah, while I'm sitting here, might as well make a video on the recent news that the Giants came out with today. The Giants have announced that they have released Chandler Catanzaro in replacement for Graham Gano. And well, the Graham Gano signing is not final yet, so they did not officially announce Graham Gano, but we can see where that boat is headed. Um, and we also have made a move in signing Daylin Mack uh, from the Baltimore Baltimore Ravens and Detroit Lions. This is a defensive tackle, 6'1", 340 pounds. He was a fifth round selection last year out of Texas A&M. Um, and you know, he was on my radar. Uh, he was on my radar as you know, as a, a defensive tackle. If we need a defensive tackle. I either went in the draft before or in this draft. I think it was this draft, correct me if I'm wrong, or was it um, no, not in this draft, but like DeAndre Baker's draft, the 2019 draft. I believe it was in the 2019 draft. Um, yes, it, it was in the 2019 draft. Uh, I was looking at Dalen Mack as a defensive tackle prospect, but he's a huge run stuffer he's nothing but a run stuffer not really a pressure type guy um so i don't really know as to why the giants signed him we have plenty of defensive tackle talent especially run stuffing defensive tackle talent um you already look at our our front three uh, our interior linemen like dexter lawrence dalvin tomlinson uh rj mcintosh bj hill uh, Leonard Williams, who is, I guess, more of a run stuffer now because, uh, you know, he's not pass rushing the passer as much. Uh, we also have Austin Johnson on the roster as well, who is no slouch in stopping the run. Former second-round pick out of Penn State, uh, formerly with the Tennessee Titans. So, Dalen Mack uh, joins a very, very crowded defensive tackle room. It's going to be very interesting to see what the Giants really want to do here because if the Giants were to just focus... Uh, you know, put all the attention that they're putting on, you know, the run stuffers on the edge rushers, then we would be fine in the edge rush department. I don't really know why the Giants are really stacking up on these interior linemen when we need edge rush help um, at all accounts, man. I know that we still have Lorenzo Carter. We signed Kyler Fackrell. But I just don't think it's going to be enough. So uh, we'll see what happens. Dalen Mack is, is fine. It's, he's a fine prospect. I would be excited if, we, if the Giants needed defensive tackle help and we signed him. But we really don't need defensive tackle help right now. So, um, you know, this is a little confusing. But, hey, you know, all the, mer all the merrier. We get talent. You know, there's, there's never, there's never a, it's never a bad thing to have talent all the way down the depth chart. That's a good problem to have. But I just wish we could have put more focus and attention on the edge rush for, rather than uh, the interior lineman because I feel like interior line, interior defensive line is probably our best position on this roster and Dave Gettleman just keeps stacking it up more and more which I, I'm very anxious to see what his uh, strategy is but that is the news as re the report for you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video